Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at birds and given the news of the avian flu virus uh, being confirmed in a local farm, uh, in a poultry farm, we're going to do an investigation where large quantities of birds flock over to here in Saniston. And we're going to be using a radiometric thermal camera in conjunction with the RGB camera to see if we can see any birds uh, or any signs of birds in distress and specifically birds with higher than normal temperatures. What we found as we approached some trumpeter swans was indeed a trumpeter swan that seemed to have a higher than normal temperature reading. And you can see the one there on the third from the right has a higher emissivity which means that it is radiating more heat than the other ones. Now, could this be a trumpeter swan with a fever as a result of the avian flu virus? That I can't confirm for sure, but it shows that we do have a swan with a higher temperature in it in a farmer's field in an area really uh, not accessible by foot or even by vehicle as it's in the middle of a mud field. We were able to get to it relatively easily uh, with using the RPAS remotely piloted aircraft system. And here we're just standing by and just monitoring the behavior of the swan uh, and to see if it's behaving abnormally. And here it seems to be walking fine. So that was one note. Then we went over to a geese flock that was just to the south of the site and a large quantity of geese were noted in there. Um, noticing this area, this particular mission wasn't to try to map or find dead carcasses of birds. Um, if we wanted to do that mission, we would go and use different equipment with very high resolution cameras and survey cameras that would give you a really uh, great capability for zoom in. This is just looking for thermal anomalies and just doing kind of a reconnaissance scouting mission. To date, the predominant subtype detected in both domestic and wild birds has been H5N1. And just on November 8, 24, the CFIA confirmed the presence of H5N2 subtype in poultry in British Columbia. Although our primary mission was just focusing on thermal, um, we did not see any deceased birds or carcasses on this mission. We believe in diligence and a multi-pronged approach is necessary to uh, monitor and control outbreaks. And so we hope that drones can prove to be a valuable asset in this area as well. Thanks for watching and please join us at victoriaphotos.com to learn more.